What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 21. Last episode, we got into our next big story mode project, campaign project in this, in this lovely uh, F-Body Camaro. And um, we're going to hopefully get it finished up here today. We got everything figured out with what we need to replace. We had a bunch of stuff that was undiscovered. And we got to go through, I believe, and still just order parts now at this point. Which, yeah, we got a bunch of old stuff that we need to take care of, which I did not set up a shopping list at all. So we are going to do that. I think I had said I was going to actually purchase all the items uh, beforehand, but I did not end up doing that because it was actually about a week ago since the last time I recorded um, on this. So I actually kind of forgot that um, we had all that to do still. But that's all right. We're going to hop in. We're going to get everything ordered real quick. I'm going to resort these by condition. And we're going to go through and see what we need to replace here. We've got all of this. We need to be above, we need to be at or above 77% on stuff. So I need to go through, make sure that we are good to go with all of this. So we have good on all of that. I know rubber bushings we need. I think there was a leaf spring plate. But if you guys are enjoying this, be sure to smash that like button. Show it some love and support. And if you guys are new around here checking this out, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well so you guys don't miss out on any videos that we're doing here. But uh, we're good with that, actually. So we don't need that plate. Don't need... Gonna need some new brake pads. Definitely gonna need all new stuff with this. I guess I'll just go through and get all of this stuff ordered up. We already got those in there. We're going to need a couple more bushings, I know for sure. I think the fuel rail is part of that. Let me see. Yeah, that is. So we're going to need another new fuel rail as well, unfortunately. Is the rear spring a part of that? Uh, no, it is not. So we're good with that. I think that should be about everything here. So let's see what we got going on. So we need nine new bushings, which we can just order. Yeah, some of these maybe we're going to need them at some point anyways, even if we didn't, didn't use them right now. We need two fuel rails, which, ooh, that's expensive. Um, actually added four of those. Do I really need four of the, or three of these? I guess we probably do, don't we? Let me see. So there's only... Oh, actually, there's three. Okay. See, so yeah, we'll go ahead and order these. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. We need an oil filter. Let's go ahead and get that. A new camshaft. Yeah, it's going to be expensive. I know I keep talking about we need to get the upgrade as well for the... Actually, repair shop or repair part of this so we can actually start repairing parts. And that's going to save us a lot of money in parts. That'll help us really expand and getting... Do we need... Okay, I mean, I guess it's 20 bucks. Ignition coils, we'll have to get that from the other shop. Front wheel hub, and then solid rear axle. So we're good on that. What are our other coils at? I feel like I want to make sure... Yeah, we're going to need more than the three. We're going to need another one, two, three. So we're going to need six total for that, for the coils. So let's head back out here. Let's go to our electronics. And we're going to need six of these. That's a hefty price tag as well. And then spark plugs, I gotta, I'm going to make sure where we're at with those. Um, we're just, Okay, we're going to need... We basically need all new spark plugs. So I... Well, I'll, I'll to keep the one. I guess we'll just do seven. Save ourselves the six dollars. <laughs> That's alright. Okay. So I think we should be good to go. Start reassembling stuff now. So let's get... Yeah, let's just start reassembling everything. Definitely excited to get this thing back, back up and running on the road for the customer. I'm sure he's going to be happy to get it back. Um, Do we need... Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff to put back together on the engine as well. I'm just going to keep an eye on the condition and stuff, and we'll double check to see what is what. If it needs to be actually 
replaced it all. Get our oil filter back in. Got 100% on that. For a brand new one. Let's see. Are we... Let's get this guy back on. We're 80% for that, so we're good. Let's get the new wheel hub. Yeah, we got a brand new one for that. Uh, we got a wheel bearing here. Do we need to be replacing these? Wheel hub. No, I don't know. I want to take a look. So wheel hub bearing. Yeah, I think... Or is that just... That's just that. Okay. Yeah, that's just that that we're replacing. An axle knuckle cover, which isn't that the same thing? Okay, I'm a little bit confused, actually, and I want to make sure that we don't have to pull this back apart. But we might end up having to pull this apart. Okay, we might have to end up having to pull this apart, but that's alright. It's not too big a deal if we have to. We'll get these new pads and everything thrown back on, and we should be good to go with that. The wording on that's a little bit confusing there. Oh, I just realized I need to make sure that there's not different size. So we have 235s. Okay, we're good. I gotta get the rear put back together as well. Um, let's actually do that real quick. Oh, here's the wheel hub. That's the... Okay. So it's for the rear, not the... Not the front. That makes a little more sense then. Okay, so we should be good then. We shouldn't have to put anything back together. Or take anything apart and after putting everything back together. We should be good. With that, a lot of the majority of the work in this thing was in the in the engine area. So that's where my focus is on that because I don't want to be pulling the motor back apart. Especially with that timing stuff. It's a lot of, a lot of fussing around with that. We got all of this stuff to go back together, the root suspension stuff as well. So this is going to be quite a bit, honestly. Let's get this guy back on. We got this to go back in. We got a brand new one of those. We got our spring plates. Did not need to replace any of those, so we're good with that. There has been a bunch of updates or like DLC for this game as well. So if you guys want to see any of that, let me know also. Because I'd be down to pick some of those up. There's some cool stuff uh, with that. There was one that was actually just fairly recent within the last few months um, on this game. So that's really nice that the devs are still coming out with some new content for it. I hope that they come out with like a 2024 one of this or maybe 20, 25 or something. That'd be pretty cool. But I don't know if they're going to or not. Um, Alright. Let's get this guy in. We got our bushing here. At least we'll, we'll be able to knock a bunch of this stuff out. And then if we have anything left, we'll be able to easily see it with what needs to be replaced. Let's get this last U-bolt in. Wait. That's going to be... So yeah, we're at 73% for that, so we're going to need another U-bolt. Just get another one of those. It's 15 bucks. I should have double checked that to begin with. That's alright. We caught it. We caught it early enough. We weren't having to pull it back apart. I'm sure there's going to be something we're going to have to pull back apart on this. And that we did not realize. If we get this first try, I'm going to be real happy with that. But I, I doubt we're going to. I feel like there's going to be something that we missed. Okay. I guess one little trick I just noticed, too, if we have an extra item of that type in our inventory, then we kind of know that there's something that had to be replaced with that. And then we know to keep an eye on the one that we're actually installing back on. Okay. Let's get back up front here. We got our other suspension arm, which I just realized we didn't get put back on yet. We definitely need some upgrades as well for like the um, speed of like 
bolt in stuff and unbolt in stuff would be really nice to have. Now we got some brake pads here to go back in. We got our wheel hub bearing. Put that back in. Get our caliper to go back on. There we are. And then we got our rim Atlanta. Go back on. Yeah, I'm hoping we don't have to buy any other parts for this because we'll have about. We got to do some fluids and stuff that'll cost a little bit. But we're going to have about $5,900 by the time we're done with this job. Or actually, not by the time we're done with this job. Before we finish this one, if that's the case. And then we can actually get quite a bit because I'm sure we're going to get paid fairly well for this one. I mean, this is a, this is a big pull apart for us to do. Oh, wait. We need another bushing. Just realized we have one at 76. Oops, I was trying to look at our inventory for bushing. See where we're at with that. Yeah, 76. So we're going to have to, if we don't have any more, if we have more to go back together. But I think that's the last one that we need. So we'll just need one more of these, then I believe. We should be good to go. I think this is the last of these suspension to go back together, pretty much. Um, I think that's about the end of that. Do we need our? Do we have our starter back in yet? Yes, that's in there already. So we're good with that. I think we're gonna drop it down now and start working in the engine bay. Get this thing actually all fully put back together, which we got quite a bit of motor work to do on this. We get our fuel rails to go back on. Get these. Got our camshafts to go back in. Ooh, do we need to replace camshafts on this? We do. Okay. So we almost missed that. Which we're going to have three more to replace then. Yeah. We're going to have three more of these to replace. That really sucks. Because that's going to be expensive. Ugh. Can we get the upgrade? I don't think we can yet, can we? We need, like, the upgrade for our, yeah, garage expansion, I believe. But where is the repair? Ability to fix parts from group one. So it's not showing. But I don't think we have it yet. So that's the salvaging. That's our test path. Yeah, workbench. Okay. Yeah, so we need 10,000 for that. So yeah, we cannot get that yet. Unfortunately. Um, let's go to our shopping. So now we just kind of wasted it at one point, but we're going to need it. We're going to need to do it at some point anyway. So I'm going to save all those for that because we, we definitely want to be able to upgrade. Whoops. I need two more of these. So that, yeah, that's another $660 that I was not accounting for. But I'm hoping that we can repair what we have with these other ones then. I'm going to keep them, actually. Do we need um, cam gears? Was that a part of this? Uh, no, so we're good to put these back on. Yeah, that's really unfortunate, because that was... And if we had that table set up, we'd be able to probably repair these. At least, if not all of them, pretty close to all of them. So that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Like I said, we're going to work to get that table so we can actually so we can actually start repairing stuff in the future rather than trying to uh, just buy new stuff and wasting money. It, it, it is throwing away money on that and we don't need to. But it is what it is. We will get things repaired and looking good. Let's get our new timing belts thrown on as well. Then we start putting some of the actual timing stuff back on, like the cover. Get all this bolted back in, which is only four bolts. That is pretty nice. And we got all of our rollers to go back on. Which, did we need to replace any of these, technically? No, we did not. I mean, yeah, all we have left is just ignition coils. So actually, we were good to go on throwing all the stuff back in and not even worrying about it. Until we get to that point of the um, coils. Which those won't go back on until we get the valve covers back on. And all the rest of this stuff back on. Let 
Okay, so we got water pump pulley. Let's get that. There we go. Let's get, let's get our crankshaft pulley. One big crank bolt. Oh, we got one more thing to go back on down there, I just noticed. And then I think all I've left is just some fluids to do. And this thing will be ready to go and back on the road at this point. So that's really awesome. These long bolts take so dang long to do, though. That's why I keep saying we need to get some speed upgrades for these. It would be so nice. There we got one more roller to go back on. And then we should be able to get our belts back on as well. Which we got two of them, I believe. And then just the tensioners. And then we got this roller to go back on. And we should be about good to go. We got this other one right here. All right. Let's get these last bolts in and then we'll get our coils back on. Then like the coil cover thing that goes over this to cover them up. Make sure that we're all good on those. And we should be about good to go. From that point so we got I think we should be good I think we purchased all these that we needed maybe yeah I think we're yeah you know, we're okay we got we got enough of them enough of them at a high enough or a high enough percentage yep 79 and then we've got one at 78 it's kind of ridiculous we had our places at 76 and this one at 72 over a couple percent but unfortunately, if we don't, we won't open the complete it. So we have to. Um, is that... That is everything. Okay, so I'm actually really surprised that we got all of that. Oh, that's right. We got to fix the body parts. And we just have to fill up oil and fill up our... I think we, I think we drained our power steering as well. So I'm going to do that real quick. I believe if I remember right in the last episode, we drained this just in preparation. Yeah, we definitely did. Okay, so there's that. And then we just need to repair the body panel, the, the front uh, bumper, I believe. Get some coolant, get some oil in here, and then we should be about good to go at that point. Okay, so there's that. Let's get the oil back in. I think that's everything back together then at that point. Okay. So there is that. We've got all of that. Now we just need to fix, yeah, the front bumper. Which, all we just need to do is just pull this off. And I don't think that we can do anything with this. I think we have to... So let's go to... That. We'll add this to our shopping list. And then we're going to go into the body shop. For the Hornet. And then... We'll get one of these. Purchase that for 350 And I think that should be it. I think we should be able to throw this back on. And that is a completed car. We got both of our headlights to go back in. Look at that. I think that is good to go. Yeah, we got a we got a green finish order. Ah, air filter is missing. That's right. I did see the clips. You guys are probably screaming at me that that was sitting there empty. <laughs> but that's alright. If we only forgot the one thing, that's not bad. Because like I said, I it's been about a week since I recorded the last episode. Of this, so I am happy that we only missed one thing on this, if that is the case. Let's get... These clips are really annoying, though. I'd rather just have bolts and be able to bolt this lid on. And there we go. I think that is now a completed order. That is. Okay, look at that. We got about five grand for that, so we're coming out with about ten grand, roughly. Not too bad. Could be a little better. I feel like we might have gotten, gotten uh, shafted a little bit there, but that's all right. All right, and we've got the next guy right here then with this um, with this Salem. Nice little Ford Focus with that. But that's going to be the next episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to smash the like button if you guys did. If you guys are new around here checking this out, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well so you guys don't miss out on any videos. But I'm absolutely loving this. I really want to keep doing the upgrades to our shop here and everything and keep things rolling with this. And you guys seem to be enjoying the series still. So thank you all very much for that. But um, yeah. Like I said, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.